Hi, this is Thomas Mashad, and welcome to Brain Doodles. Welcome back to the Building Blocks lesson. And in this particular episode, we're going to take a look at the triangle and the circle, two more shapes that are going to really help us to develop our, our toolbox for uh, visual note taking. Okay, so first up, we're going to take a look at the triangle. Okay, so for the triangle, it's pretty simple. We have just three edges, and if you need to, you can always place some dots down and then draw from one dot to another. Really, we can use those dots for you know any type of shape that we want to end up creating, which is kind of nice. Um, the the thing with the the triangle is that uh, this might give us an idea of how to make a decision, um, and you know whether we have like a play. Or, you know, like we're doing up and down. We can do a lot of things with the triangle. Of course, we've already seen it, how we can attach it to the rectangle and giving us a direction of something that we want to do. Of course, as you're driving along the road, you might see a sign that has this type of shape with two rectangles inside of it. And that would give us a yield sign. So sometimes maybe we want to uh, play something within our notes that we want to be cautious about. Okay, now the, uh, the the triangle also deals with kind of decisions um, that we could end up placing that within our face that we could end up drawing later on. Okay, and so maybe we have like a change of mind, and maybe it's uh, for the for the better or for the worse. So maybe we either put you know we change our mind uh, to something else, uh, making it down making it something better uh, or you know just one way or the other we we change our mind either yay or nay uh, whether it's uh, up or down okay so we can uh, you know it's kind of very similar to the bent line we have the lesser than and the greater than symbols um, and then we can end up uh, combining this with our other shapes to creating some other objects we'll take a look at that here later in the video First, let's uh, cover the, the next basic shape of the circle. Okay, so with the circle, pretty basic. And once again, very similar to the square. You've probably done lots of these. One of the, the most probably common things that we've all ended up doing was maybe stacking circles one on top of another and, you know, like making a, a snowman of some type. Okay, so we... When And when we say circle, sometimes you might consider a circle being a perfect circle. Once again, we're not dealing with perfect shapes here. Once again, we uh, only need something to be about 30% recognizable to making sure that people uh, understand what we're doing. When we draw a circle, sometimes it could have kind of like an elliptical shape or an egg shape. That's perfectly fine as well. Uh, circles are, you know, a lot of our basic building blocks when drawing a face with the eyes and with the head. Okay, we can use half circles or a curved line. So really, a circle is just two uh, curved lines that are placed together. Right? And of course, with other symbols that we can just make with the circle, we could have a circle plus two half circles. And this would be like something that we do not want to do. And the nice thing is, is that this, this is universal. It's global. Oh, and speaking of global, we could draw a circle with some curved lines and we can end up representing a globe something that would represent our world okay we could end up putting little shapes in there as well if we wanted to uh, just to kind of giving a, maybe a better idea that, that we were talking about the globe but once again this is also a very universal shape uh, when we see something like that we think of a globe okay other things we can uh, do of course would be something like uh, that you've seen quite often of a male and a female symbols. Circles also represent completeness or a cycle, so uh, we could add in a little arrow into that as well to uh, uh, making a symbolic gesture of something that could be complete or a cycle. Cycle one, cycle two, cycle three, and so forth. Okay, so let's take a look at some other combinations that we can do with circles, triangles, and even combining it with some other shapes that we've already been doing. Okay, so what are some of the combinations that we can end up doing? Well, it's pretty simple. We could end up taking the circle and having some, uh, you know, even if we just wanted one straight line coming down and then the triangle coming out, we could have a pennant flag. We can take the triangle 
and combine that with one of the shapes that we've learned earlier and that was like with the square or the rectangle we can add a rectangle and having a circle and another square and dividing that and then we get the house or a home all right so we have a home site home page or something like that so there's lots of things you can end up combining uh, just with a circle and the rectangle and then combining those with other shapes that you've already been learning such as with a square or the rectangle and remember these things don't have to look perfect they just have to be how much recognizable 30 percent recognizable for people to understand of what you're trying to draw out a flag a home whatever it might be and we'll certainly look at how to create other objects in combining these shapes together later on